So I put it out there that I wanted to roast a big city police department. And the only one to step up and say yes was the home of America's very first police force, Boston. A city that I've loved since going to college there. But on the morning I arrived, an officer was shot and tensions were running high. I am at 33, Mount Bowden Terrace, shot. You know, this individual just shot one of our officers and the officers were able to tackle him and not use deadly force. I don't know the details of what happened in Dorchester, yeah. but cop gets shot. They could have they could have killed the guy. His yeah. partner could have killed the guy. You know, the officers ran him down and tackled him when they could have used deadly force. I, I, I like to say, uh, you know, we're a compassionate department and we care about human life. And I think the public realizes that. Boston used to have a bad reputation. Well, when I came on the job, we had 160 homicides. We had 38 this year. Chicago had 500, Baltimore had 344. So the stricter gun laws and the community work we're doing is really making a difference. Why would you let me come in and roast the Boston Police Department? Well, I, I would because, you know, I, I want to break the stereotype out there that, uh, you know, we're the bad guys. And I want right. people to see that what's playing out across the nation isn't what the Boston Police are. We don't mind you making fun of us because I want the public to know we're real people. You got a nose for crime. I know. And what? ears for it, too. <laughs> <laughs> now that the brass was on board, I was revved up and ready to address the rank and file during an afternoon roll call and give them a few laughs before they hit the streets. How are you, everybody? I'll make this quick, because I know most of you are double parked. Thank you for letting me come here. This is really cool. I've never performed in front of an entire room full of YouTube celebrities before. This would be so much better if you guys just came into the middle of the room. All right, fine. You guys also have a rich criminal history in this town. You had the Boston Tea Party here. Whitey Bulger was from here. Tom Brady's from here. Oh, come on. That one really let the air out of the room, huh? And let's be real, if Whitey Bulger's name had been Blackie Bulger, they would have caught him a lot quicker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's obviously a problem between the cops and the community across the country right now, and that's what I'm here, because that really bothers me. And it really bothers me when some people say that all cops are racist. Of course that's not true. Most of you are just dicks to everybody. All right. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for coming. All right, thanks, you guys. Holy shit, that sucked. Hasn't there been enough bombing in Boston? Well, it turns out that right before I got to town, the policeman's union found a picture of me at that Black Lives Matter rally and profiled me as a cop hater. They even posted a bulletin in all the precincts and sent an email to every cop in town telling them to stay away from me. With no cameras allowed, I spent hours negotiating my comedy special out of a hostage situation. Oh, 